Hello everyone, welcome to my XNA C Sharp Map Editor tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very basic map editor. Um, this isn't for complete beginners, I'm not going to be going through every little function and saying this is what this does, this is what this does. I'm going to assume that you know C Sharp and that you have a little experience with XNA. At least, at least a bit of experience with XNA before you attempt this. So I'm going to show you what we're going to be making. It is very basic. It's not. It doesn't have a very advanced GUI or anything like that. The whole point of it is that it is very basic. If you do want to go ahead and expand it, that's great. Go ahead. Um, but uh, if I was to make something, say, with Qt and C++ and OpenGL, like a very big map editor, it would take hours and hours and hours of development and it would be a ridiculous tutorial so this is what this is, this is just a basic tutorial to show you give you the basic ideas, the concepts behind map editors and how to make one so as you can see it just has a few buttons this is just for changing the layer we're going to be using forms as well in this so if you have any experience with windows forms uh, that's great it's brilliant. Um, although I will show you pretty much what to do, I'm not going to guide you through every single little bit of it. So, if at some point you do get stuck, you can always just leave a comment or a personal message me, and I'll I'll try and help you out as much as I can. But uh, I did have to skip over quite a lot of stuff when I was making this tutorial because it's it would have taken forever. Uh, so. In the interest of saving time, I had to cut it down. So basically all you do in this is you load a tile sheet. Now, XNA will not allow you to import tile sheets at after runtime, after execution, um, and still keep the color key in feature, where it turns magenta into transparencies. Uh, so I would advise using uh, a uh, tile sheet that already has transparencies in it, a PNG for example. Uh, with this you can you can scroll around using the WASD keys and you can change the, the tile with the up and down buttons. So if you're ready to get started we'll do that. 